Hello, everybody. Seeing as I have basically infinite time during this quarantine, I thought I'd show off some of the data packs that I've been making in my spare time through this new fangled YouTube thing. I know. So, let's begin, shall we? This data pack I like to call the Moving Borders data pack. To start it, all we have to do is type in slash function setup. And see that the world border has shrunken and uh, it's moving. So there's a reason why it's called the moving borders data pack. And that's because obviously the world borders are moving. So while getting wood and such is a trivial task, the entire basis of game playing has changed quite a bit. No longer can you settle down and build a nice little house. No. You gotta keep on your feet, constantly picking up your stuff. And uh, you don't quite have shulker boxes in this beginning of the game, so you're gonna have to make do with what you can carry. And uh, mountains, mountains can be your worst enemy because you gotta climb them somehow. <clears throat> now, you may be thinking, oh, well I'm such a smart guy, I'll just let the world border push me along. Uh, there's no sense of urgency in this data pack. Well, that's where you're wrong, my friend, because uh, if you get too far outside of the world border, you kind of get dead. Uh, you kind of don't want to get dead. Uh-oh, it's happening again. So, yeah, you got to keep on your toes with this data pack. Let's see how it works. So if we go into spectator mode right now, you'll see that there is actually... If I can find it, um, one armor stand moving. Uh, let's see if I can find it. I can't find it. Uh, I'll be back when I find it. Ah, okay. So I found it. Uh, right here is an armor stand. Uh, there it is. So this armor stand right here, upon setting up the data pack, is placed wherever the player is. And it's invisible and it has no gravity. Now this armor stand is tagged so that the data pack knows where to center the world border. So in the data pack is a function that I named xxxx so that nobody knows what it does. And what it does is it teleports this armor stand forwards one or point one blocks every tick. And it also centers the world border onto this armor stand so that you get the illusion, although it's not really an illusion, that the world border itself is moving. Now, this data pack can be played with as many players as you want, and it can be played for however long you want. Now, if you want to try this data pack, I'll post a download link in the description below, and you and your friends can try and see how long you can survive with this rapidly moving blue wall. Oh, I almost forgot. If you want to stop playing, all you have to do is type in slash function, prefix colon, tear down. The armor stand will be removed, and the world border will be reset to its initial position. Or somewhere close to it. Well, anyway, that's all for this data pack. Join me next time as we take a look at another one of my wonderful creations, and see you all later!